Okay, um, I'm curious about if I can use a multiband compressor, uh, maybe a dynamic EQ insert in the master. So is there any way, because I could see that in the FX track I have that yes. kind of effects? Well, FX section is a thing we, we, we understand is you need a quick access to it. That's always on the right part of the screen. Graphic EQ is FX section and patch bay. These things are very important. So it's just one shot and you get into the FX section. Yeah. So the FX section has uh, eight different gaps, eight different spaces where you can load eight different FX. Okay? So the first thing you have to do is to choose a dynamic EQ or choose a multiband dynamic. So very much on this screen, on the left part, where it says, okay, here we have a dynamic EQ. If I touch here, I have all the different kinds, all the different types of effects we have. So on your case, we have dynamic EQ, just one preset, dynamic EQ, you recall it. So are you sure? Yeah. So we have dynamic EQ here. The same thing for the multiband compressor. On the last one, we have multiband dynamics, and you have multiband dynamics, recall. So you have loaded the dynamic EQ and a multiband compressor on FX6 and 7 now, okay? So, the other thing we have to do is to patch your rack. So, on the left part, you have the things that are going to feed the FX, and on the right part, you have the returns of the FX. On these five FX we have here, you have a couple of reverbs, three reverbs, a delay, and a space echo from Roland, a very legendary unit we have uh, implemented inside. So, you're feeding them for, from auxiliaries, and then you're returning to channels. That's very yeah. easy. So now it changes a little bit. We need to insert. We don't want to, to feed and then get returns. We, we, we want to do an, a proper insert. So on the same section of the inputs, yes. you touch here, and this open this screen. So on category, when you open this, you have main, subbrox, auxiliaries, um, mix minus, matrices, and input channel. And then you have the same thing, the same ones, that say insert A, okay. and on the bottom one you have the same insert, bosses, master, subgraphs, auxiliary, that says insert B. So all the channels, input channels, and all the bosses, they have two insert points. They have insert A and insert B. Insert A is before the dynamics and the EQ of the channel or okay. of the bus, and insert B is after the EQ and the dynamics of the channel of the or of the bus. So this is particularly uh, useful if you're going to use plugins. So you have your plugins running. These people, the people that use plugins a lot, they need to get out and back to the channels in different positions. So they want to do, to be able to get out and back in two different positions. So that's what we did, insert A and insert B. If, like the FX we already set, you want to feed the output of the bus, yeah. that's the one that doesn't say anything. Okay. okay? So what you said is I want to have the dynamic EQ inserted on the master. So let's use insert A for that, which is insert A on the mains. You just have a left and right. Yeah. If you have a master with a 5.1 or you have two masters, you, it will appear here. Okay. You just have a left and right situation today, very easy. So sequence is already pre-assigned to two because yeah. we know this dynamic EQ is a stereo. So wherever you insert probably will be a stereo too. Yeah. So just choosing one, already insert on the master. So yeah. once you have done that, on the right part, instead of offering to you a return channel, you choose a, you have to choose a, an insert so you don't need to return anything the only thing what we offer to you now is the on and off of the insert okay let's do it again for the multiband dynamics but this time instead of choosing insert a we're going to choose insert b on the main and again it's the same left and right so right now we have insert a dynamic eq before the eq and the dynamic yeah. of the bus itself and you have a multiband <coughs> dynamics after the dynamics and the channel and the EQ of the bus. And then you have to turn them insert on. Yes. Okay, if we go very quick to see the master section, and we have this section here, and yeah. we open it, look, on this screen we get insert A is on and is FX section number six. So the FX, the FX you choose on number six. And insert B is FX seven. So you get this information from two parts. You yeah. can get it from the FX rack or you can get it from the bus and you can recall what you're going to insert on that. Or if you want to play with it on and off, you don't have to go to the FX session. You can turn on and off the, the, the inserts from the bus or from the channel. On the channels, it works in the same way. Okay. Cool.
And I really like the interface because here you can see exactly where the EQ and the yeah. dynamic is and the position of. Yeah, the if you're curious point. about what means insert A or insert B, if you get if you reach this screen, it, yeah. in one shot you get okay, this is before EQ dynamic of the channel, and the other one is after. So you just need to turn them on, and that's it. Okay. Good. So this is how your FS FX rock looks today. Cool.